What's going on, guys? Monday College Basketball. In today's video, I'm just like all my videos, going to go over every single game. There's not a whole lot of games today, and we're going to do kind of a fun little game. We're going to play Dan's Rants versus the coin. I'm going to do a coin flip. We're going to keep track of uh, basically what a coin flip decides on the spread. I'm going to give out my opinion on the spread for each game, and uh, we'll try to update the whiteboard with another winner. Rutgers plus one and a half comes up short. Really bad effort. Uh, the offense is 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 non-existent, so unable to make it five in a row, but that's still nine winners out of our last 14 whiteboard uh, whiteboard winners, the whiteboard free pick of the day. So try to make it uh, 10 of 15 in today's video. I think that's still pretty respectful. Uh, respect-able, I guess I should say, for just like a free pick whiteboard thing. And also, man... Chill out, man. Y'all gotta chill, man. Some people are in my in in my DM. Some of the members, uh, people messaging, replying to the the threads in the middle of the day. Like, oh man, another tough day. Just because what we lose like our first couple picks. Relax. There's a lot of basketball left in a day. Uh, no need to assume things are gonna happen. And 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 look, this channel is is mainly built on education, okay? I'm not here to collect y'all's check. I'm not here to make money. I've been doing this for myself for five years, making my own money off sports betting. I don't need your money. That's why you can get an entire month of my picks for 20 bucks. If I wanted to like try to make money or this was like some money stunt, I'd be charging the normal rate. I mean, most uh, professionals out there like on Wager Talk and these other platforms they'll charge you a hundred bucks or more for a week. So I'm not in it for the money. I try to educate you guys. I at least try to uh, bring enough information in every video. So even if maybe my picks don't come through every single day, hopefully you at least learn something. And if you're so emotional to a point where, you know, you get like one or two picks wrong to where you have to, you, you feel the urge to say something negative, you're probably not financially, uh, uh, in the right situation to be gambling on a ball game at the, at, at the end of the day, tell it how it is. We are gambling on a basketball game or a football game or a tennis match or PGA or whatever it is. MLB, uh, does a pitcher throw strike three or not like this is gambling and we do our best. We look up research. We look up trends. We, we look up analysis, this, that, this, that, and we try to make our best guesses and we use unit management and bankroll management and we're smart and we know this is a long term. It is not a get rich quick thing. We are smart about this, but at the end of the day, don't risk more than you should be. That's all I got to say. Um, this is Dan's rant. Sometimes I go on rants. I can't help it guys. I can't help it. Uh, let's go ahead and, and at least let you guys know what I bet today, what was given out to members, and then we'll go ahead and hop into these Monday games. College basketball, we had one, two, three, four, five, uh, one unit wagers, like a standard unit, your standard betting size. Uh, Wisconsin plus nine and a half cashed Rutgers plus one and a half, which ended up on the whiteboard, missed it. Michigan plus six and a half. I look that that Asian guy for Nebraska, he has the capability to go absolutely off. That's what he did today. He dropped what twenty three points in the first half. So Michigan was in trouble today. If if Tominaga didn't go absolutely crazy, I think Michigan would have covered, maybe won the game. But you can't help it when a really good player has a good uh, shooting day. So we missed with Michigan as well. Lehigh on the money line over Boston. We cashed with that. Uh, it took overtime, but we got there. And then we had a. Uh, a little parlay. We had Purdue on a double result, which is Purdue to simply be winning at halftime and winning for the game. And we paired that with Sela on the money line. Favorite six, man. Couldn't even win on the, they got upset. So a little March Madness there came up short on the parlay. We threw a half unit. We threw a little small bet on Michigan state. Um, I still don't believe in Indiana, but man, they finished the season strong. What four wins in a row to end the year. Michigan state was up seven points, six or seven points with like four minutes left. Still came up short on our wager, so we miss a half unit with Michigan State. And then, don't play with Dan's rants when he puts out a three-unit play. I've only missed two all year. Haven't missed a single three-unit play in NBA this year. Uh, Lakers, three-unit play. Got it in the afternoon when they were only minus two. By the time the game actually tipped off, I think they were a favorite about five and a half, depending on what book you looked. Easy, cash. Lakers, situational basketball. When I talk about educating people and at least trying to, you know, maybe bring some light to you if you don't know a couple of things, 
You got to know situational basketball when it comes to the NBA more than any other sport. And this time of year, as we get closer to playoffs, there's some awesome opportunities. I've been really, really light volume, very, very small amount of NBA bets. That doesn't mean I haven't been watching a ton of NBA. I've been watching a pile of it. At the end of the day, I'm looking down at my computer right now, and it is currently March 11th. We only have so much more college basketball. So what are you guys going to do? The people that only only do college basketball, what are you going to do when it ends? Uh, hang out with some girl or something? I mean, come on. You got to bet on something. And I am absolutely dialed in. In fact, I have not missed a single NBA play since the All-Star break. Again, like I said, very, very, very small volume. I've only been mixing in a play or two here and there. It, it's only been a few picks. Uh, but we haven't missed. I feel great. And um, as college basketball comes to a close, NBA will come in, will transition, will prosper long term, unit management, bankroll management, winning every single month. No brainer. Uh, again, link to my website in the description, and it'll be in a comment at pinned at the top of the comment section. You can hop on there. It'll take about one or two more days of website maintenance to get my monthly package all sorted out and ready to go for you guys. But if you want to grab a full week of my picks, it's 20 bucks. Hop on the website, $20 bill, grab an entire week of my picks. That'll give you a week to see if you, if you win money, if you like my picks, if you like where my head's at, if you like my thinking, if you like um, everything that you're going to get for a $20 bill. And then maybe at the end of it, if you're like, you know what? That $20 was absolutely worth it. I won money with Dan's rants. He seems like he has a good, uh, a good head on his shoulders and he seems knowledgeable and I like his picks. Now I'm going to buy the monthly package. That's completely up to you guys. That's why I kind of, I, I, I kind of, uh, I don't push, but I, I suggest a $20, uh, weekly package. It's just a good cheap way to test the waters. Make sure I am legit. Make sure you are happy before you invest more with me. Um, again, TikTok link in the description below and my SoBet link in the description below. That's only a daily pick on SoBet. But if you sign up for SoBet, you're going to get access to 60 other professionals that go hard, hard, like drop like 7, 10, 15 plays a day. So the link is in the description for SoBet. You'll get one play a day for me on that platform, and you'll immediately be on that platform, and you'll have access to everybody else on there. And there are some people that absolutely run people out of the building. Um, there's people that make 30 units in a single month on SoBet. So that's something to consider. Let's get into the games. I think I said what I had to say. Sorry. I go on rants. It's Dan's rants. I give you winners. I go on rants. I think it about evens out. Monday college hoops. I know there's a couple good games. Uh, do I have enough paper for this? Yeah, it's only a few games, right? Here we go. Six o'clock, New Orleans. The team that beat Sela today um, is currently catching nine and a half points. They're playing Lamar. I think this is a good scenario where okay, you got by Sela, right? You pulled an upset, March Madness. But I think the I think the fairy tale comes to an end here. I think Lamar is way better. Uh, it's a big number. I think it's big for a reason. I will lay the nine and a half points with Lamar over New Orleans. Now we'll do our coin flip, see what the coin flip decides. Actually, let me make two columns here. I'm going to make two columns and keep track of both. And in the next video, we'll uh, we'll see who did better, me or the coin flip. So we'll do, we'll always do, we'll do what? Head, heads for the favorite? We'll do heads for the favorite. What do we got? The favorite is Lamar. And we got heads. So I'm on Lamar and the coin is on Lamar. Um, and speaking of, I just want to make this clear because I've gotten a few questions lately. So I want to address the questions. People say, dude, in your video, you said blah, 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 but then you gave out a pick of blah, blah, blah. Okay. When I do these videos, this is almost always the first time I look. So I pull up the lines for the first time. I do these videos at night when the lines first come out. I pull up my phone, I look at the line, and I just have an initial kind of gut feeling, gut reaction, and I say what I'm thinking. Overnight, before I actually put out my picks, I do I do research. I look at analysis. I look at numbers and trends and school history and all the things that go into putting a wager together, and sometimes my opinions change. So please 
don't say fucking stupid shit <laughs> like, dude, you said this, and blah, 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 blah. No, no, no. This is how it works. I give you reactions on here. I do my best. But the actual picks, the good stuff, the, the, the stuff I actually want to put my hard-earned money on and risk it, uh, it's because of other reasons some of the time. And um, that's just the way it is. So with all due respect, uh, don't, don't, don't worry about what I'm giving out for my pick. Don't worry about it. That's why you pay me to do it. So you don't have to worry about it. You get the picks and they are what they are. And sometimes they come out the night prior. Sometimes they come out the morning of. Sometimes they'll come out in the early afternoon. Sometimes I'll add a couple extra an hour or two before the game. They're going to come out at random times. So also don't be like blowing up my phone. Like, dude, I didn't get your picks last night. Where are your picks? They didn't come out yet. I'm still working on things. I'm doing research. I got I to gotta finalize things and, and make sure it's worth both of us risking our money. So chill, chill. Taos and Charleston. Boy, is this an upset. Charleston looked good today. Charleston looked really good today. 86% of people are on him. Four and a half, man. Four and a half seems a bit light. I am tempted to take Towson, and I know Charleston's a better team. There's absolutely no doubt about it, but this is this just kind of a case of, of early signs of March Madness here. I'm going to – my gut just says take Towson and, and take the four and a half points. I'm going to write down Towson for me. Let's see what the coin does. That's a bad flip. There we go. Another heads. All right. So fucking coin, man. Even the coin knows Dan's rants knows what he's talking about. The coin is sticking with me. Arkansas State, James Madison, six and a half point spread. Uh, so the splits with the money right now, 57% of bets placed so far came in on JMU, but 65% of the cash is on them. So the sharps are on JMU. JMU obviously has won a ton of games coming into this. Um, I'm going to lay the points with JMU here. I'm going to take another favorite. I'm going to take JMU. See what the coin does. Tails for the coin. So the coin is opposite. Coin is on Arkansas State here. Coin is on Arkansas State. And by the way, I just totally realized I had a, a, a brain malfunction. The last spin was was heads. Heads is the favorite. So I, I got the last one wrong. I was on Towson in the last game, but the coin landed on heads, uh, which is favorite, which is Charleston. Um, so I'm sorry about that. If you got to cross out whatever you just wrote down. I just got out of the gym. Haven't eaten a while. Low blood sugar, low brain power. My bad. Um, so just to recap, me and the coin, both on Lamar. I'm on Towson. The coin is on Charleston. I'm on JMU. The coin is on Arkansas State. Next game, Cleveland State and Oakland. Um... Cleveland State and Oakland here. Four and a half. This it's the same four and a half number. I'm gonna take Cleveland State, man. I'm gonna take Cleveland State catching four and a half here. I know the sharp money early is coming in on Oakland, and the spread might even go up, but I'm gonna take it. See what the coin likes. The coin. The coin is on Oakland. Opposite again. East Tennessee State and Samford. I'm laying the points. I'm taking I'm taking Samford minus 10 and a half. See what the coin does. Much, much better team. Much, much better team. Coin is on tail, so coin's on the underdog. All right. Damn, this coin is just opposite on everything. So the coin's on East Tennessee State and the 10 and a half points. Montana State at Weber State. Um, I'm gonna be on. I'm going to be on Weber here. I'm going to be on Weber State minus the six and a half here. Montana State, I don't trust their offense, man. Let's see what the coin likes. Coin went with tails. Dude, this is crazy. The coin is on Montana State. Took the underdog with the points. Got about four or five more games here. We got Texas A&M Commerce versus Nichols. You know, I have gone against Nichols like two or three times. I took 
uh, Northwestern State against them at one point. Um, I took someone else against them as well. And all the times I've bet against them, I've been wrong. I'm going to take them. I'm going to take Nichols minus five and a half. I know they're underrated. This is probably the spot they come back down to the earth and have some crazy upset game. Let's see what the coin. Let's see what the coin says. The coin says heads for the coin. So the coin is also on nickels. Dan's Rance and the coin, both on nickels. Santa Clara and St. Mary's. Okay. I did not like the way St. Mary's looked against Gonzaga. That was that was disgusting. Now I gotta so here's one. I gotta take a minute. Like I said, these videos are first reactions. I gotta check the injury report for St. Mary's. Um, because do they had they lost one of their best players? Joshua Jefferson. Joshua Jefferson status. Or injury injury update. Let's see here. Um is he back? Injury update. Come on, internet. Damn. Um I don't know. I, I don't want to take too much time here because I'm recording this video, but I can't. I don't know if he's playing or not. Even if he is, I'm going to take. Um, uh, this one's so hard. Nine and a half points. Nine and a half, man. If he's playing, I like St. Mary's. If he's not, I like uh, I like Santa Clara and the points. I really, I really don't know what to do, and I know this is just a free pick video, and it's casual. It's like, all right, who, who cares, man? Just say something. Um, God, I really don't want to throw a dart into the into the air here. Can I not get a fucking injury upset here? Here we go. Leg injury, February tenth. Blah 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 blah. Nope, still no, still no update. I guess the internet is just dog shit and doesn't want to give out any information. It's so stupid and frustrating. I'm gonna take the points. I'm gonna take the nine and a half, man. I don't like the way that team played against Gonzaga. I don't think Gonzaga's that great. Ugh, if he's playing, St. Mary's is covering, but I'm gonna take the points for now. So just, just have that be known. If Joshua Jefferson is playing, I like St. Mary's to to win by double digits. Let's see what the coin thinks. Maybe the coin knows. Heads for the coin. So the he the the coin is on St. Mary's. So we're opposite, I guess. Milwaukee and Northern Kentucky. This game is a pick 'em. Um, man, I really don't know with this one either. I really don't know. Um, there is reverse line movement though. 64% of the money's on Milwaukee. I think this line has gone from one of a half of a point. I think this is one of the lines I saw earlier briefly when I was just on Twitter or something like that. Um, I'm going to take Northern Kentucky here. It's a money line play. It's just pick what team you think's going to win the game. I'll go, uh, I'll go Northern Kentucky. See what the coin says. Screw that up. Hold up. Coin is on heads. Um, and currently minus 0.5 is Northern Kentucky. They're the slight favorite. So we're both on Northern Kentucky. Two more games, Portland State and Montana. Um, I'll lay the six and a half. I'm going to take Montana here minus the six and a half. And the coin goes with, the coin is on tails. So the coin is on Portland State. The coin is on Portland State. Last game, San Francisco, Gonzaga. Give me the points. What was that? Okay, so in the first meeting, it was very, very close. It was at Gonzaga, and, and San Fran was right there. What, they lose by seven? Five or seven. Covered the number. Second game. San Francisco completely screws up. 
and takes a, 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 what should be an elite, energetic, home court advantage, and they go and play where the Warriors play. They go play at the Chase Center. So you basically eliminate all home court advantage, and they get absolutely slaughtered in the second half. Now, they were very competitive for the entire first half, even looked like they were going to win the game. I think they can win this game outright. I th I think the fact that, yeah, give me give me San Fran plus eight. I'll, I'll leave it at that. I'm not going to say too much about this game. Give me San Fran plus the eight and a half. They got the talent. I, I just don't know what the fuck that stunt was where they went and played where the Warriors play. The coin is opposite of me. The coin is on heads for the favorite. So the coin is on Gonzaga, team that's been rolling, a team that a lot of people say is Elite eight good for the tournament? We'll see. It'll be interesting. We all know how Gonzaga usually goes. Um, so there we go. How many games is there tomorrow? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven or twelve games tomorrow. Solid. Uh, let's go ahead and pick a whiteboard winner. I, you know, I'm not even going to beat around the bush. Whiteboard winner, I'm going to get you guys another winner here. Uh, hopefully we can make this ten wins out of the last 15 picks, which would be what is that? Two thirds. So 66% out of my last 15. So let's get another win on the board. Give me San Fran plus the eight and a half um, to probably still lose to Gonzaga, but probably in a one or a two possession game. I um, think that's pretty much it, guys. Drop a like on today's video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Uh, there's going to be a couple off days here with conference tournaments. And, of course, next week there'll be a little bit of a gap uh, from Selection Sunday before the tournament gets underway. But maybe we'll start to transition more over to NBA in those times. So make sure you guys are subscribed so you get all my content. See you in the next video.